Recent developments on Russia-Ukraine war have highlighted the evolving nature of warfare in the modern era. Ukraine, facing the constant threat of Russian aggression, has found an ingenious and cost-effective solution to counter the formidable armored might of its neighbor, cheap DIY drones. These small, seemingly inconspicuous flying devices are proving to be a David against the Goliath of advanced Russian tanks worth millions. Footage showed how T-90M tanks were targeted and taken out using low-cost DIY drones. As we witness million-dollar tanks surrender to relatively affordable DIY drones, one can't help but questions. Are these million-dollar tanks truly as powerful as they are often advertised? Or could it be their power is somewhat overrated? Join us as we delve into the dramatic battle between million-dollar tanks and cheap DIY drones, while also uncovering the secret behind its development. Cheap hobby drones rigged with explosives are posing a significant threat to expensive tanks and heavy armor on the battlefields in Ukraine. Reportedly, Ukraine has been modifying inexpensive drones to carry makeshift warheads and target expensive Russian military equipment. Recent video depicts Ukrainian attack drones, typically costs around $400 to $500, taking down a Russian T-90 tank worth as much as $4.5 million. The tank fell off a small cliff and became immobilized, making it an easy target for Ukrainian attack drones. The T-90, introduced by the Russian army in 1992 following the USSR's collapse, became a symbol of formidable modern tank technology. In the early 21st century, it secured its status as the world's best-selling tank, underscoring its superior firepower, advanced armor, and combat capabilities. The fact that it was defeated by cheap drone was indeed ironic. Although the specifics of its takedown remain mysterious, this story will forever be remembered as another instance of the underdog challenging the giant. This stark contrast between the value of the target and the cost of the weapon delivering the blow speaks volumes about the changing face of conflict. On top of that, these drones aren't solely focused on targeting tanks. They extend their reach to encompass troop transport vehicles, infantry fighting vehicles, as well as supply and ammunition trucks. As the cost effectiveness and versatility of these DIY drones become increasingly evident, they pose a significant threat to Russia's high value military assets. In response to the Russian invasion, a group of volunteers, including both IT experts and non-experts called Aero Rosvitka, united to create military drones. Rather than constructing drones from scratch, they opted to modify readily available commercial drones found in Ukrainian markets, initially designed for recreational use and aerial videography. These modified drones were then militarized to carry up to 11-pound bombs. Svitka, formed in May 2014 following the first Russian invasion, spearheads this initiative. Relying heavily on crowdfunding to sustain their activities, they initially used off-the-shelf drones like Chinese DJY and Autel models, French Parrot drones and others, converting them into militarized versions. However, their capabilities have evolved leading them to design their drones, such as the R-18 Octocopter. With a range of 2.5 miles, a flight duration of 40 minutes, and the ability to transport 11-pound bombs, these DIY drones are a cost-effective alternative to conventional anti-tank missiles, which often come at significantly higher costs. Aero Rosvitka operates in three main division, drones, deltas, and a cybersecurity team. The drones division is responsible for drone construction and maintenance, while the Delta team specializes in identifying and tracking targets. By leveraging data from various sources, including ground agents and drone reconnaissance, the Delta team creates maps of Russian targets to be attacked. Ensuring consistent connectivity, particularly in an area plagued by internet and electricity shortages, 
is the responsibility of the cybersecurity team. Aero Rosvidka conducts approximately 300 reconnaissance missions daily and has reportedly destroyed numerous Russian vehicles. They often operate at night, leveraging thermal imaging cameras for an advantage over the enemy. A notable success includes disrupting a 40-mile-long Russian convoy aimed at attacking Kiev. A group of 30 special forces and drone operators on quad bikes attacked the convoy, disrupting the operation and even targeting supply depots, effectively stopping the Russian advance. While the power of drones in recent conflict is undeniable, what about their weak points? Unfortunately, same as other stories, they are not without vulnerabilities. One major vulnerability of DIY drones, including FPV drones, is their susceptibility to countermeasures, especially electronic warfare and jamming. Russian forces have deployed electronic warfare systems along the front lines to disrupt drone communications, which can render these drones ineffective. Reportedly, efforts are underway to develop countermeasures to disrupt the functioning of these drones. However, widespread and effective solutions have not yet been introduced at scale, leaving these drones as potent threats. DIY drones are also vulnerable to air defenses, but the cost of a missile intercept is significantly higher than the cost of the drone itself. This cost disparity makes targeting the operators of these drones a more attractive option. Experienced operators who survive can pilot multiple FPV drones against various targets, making them high priority targets for both sides. Another weak point of DIY drones is that they are one-time use, designed to explode on impact. While they are cost-effective, this also means that they can only be used once, making continuous production and deployment essential. Damage by Russian fire can render these drones inoperable, emphasizing the need for a steady supply. In the end, despite their vulnerabilities, DIY drones have proven highly effective in disrupting enemy operations. The use of DIY drones by Ukrainian forces to target and destroy million-dollar Russian tanks has created a story of David and Goliath on the battlefield, which serves as a stark reminder that creativity and adaptability often emerge as the unexpected champions. So, as we witness this revolution, have you wondered what other game-changing surprises await in the evolution of warfare? Leave your thought in the comment and thanks for watching.